Oh, immediate threat. Trump how about the how serious is the threat, threat of nuclear warfare? I think it's serious. I think it's serious. I saw Biden the other day saying, we don't want to fight Russia. They're a nuclear power. We don't want to fight Russia. They're a nuclear power. They're a nuclear power. And I'm saying to myself, it's such a signal of weakness. Now, is it correct? Yes, they are a nuclear power. But so, are we. you know, I rebuilt our nuclear arsenal. Mm-hmm. It's bigger and better and stronger than ever before. We had to renew things that were 40 and 45 years old. I didn't want to do it, but we had to do it because we had no choice. I wished I didn't have to spend that money, but we had to do it because we had no choice. But not only did I rebuild our whole military, two and a half trillion dollars during a very short period of time, we rebuilt our military, new jets. We had fighter jets that your fathers would have flown mm-hmm. if they were in the Air Force. They were and and in some cases your grandfathers right we had old bombers old fighters we have a we have a brand new military we have we spent two and a half trillion dollars on our military we have a beautiful military one of the reasons that the afghanistan the incompetence of afghanistan the way they got out is because we have a great military you know i took down isis 100 percent of isis and we use generals great generals we have great generals other than the guys that you see on television who are incompetent but we have great generals. We have generals that I dealt with that we took out 100% of ISIS in a very short period of time. And everybody actually admits that. They don't want to talk about it. But we have a great military, but we look incompetent. And it's a, it's a sad day for our military, and it's a sad day for our country. And, yes, you do have a chance of World War III. 